friends, welcome to Roboshala. I am Malo, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a wire control robot. So, let's get started. So, friends, we will see the components one by one. Here, you can see a chassis. I made this chassis using a plywood. I have attached four clamps. These are commonly known as L clamps. I have attached these clamps using these screw and nuts. You will be needing DC geared motors. These are high torque, high RPM DC geared motors. Whereas this is a general purpose DC geared motors. You can attach this DC geared motors using this nut with the clamp. And this clamp goes to your chassis. So we will be needing two DPDT switches. These are two channel switches. As you can see, it has got six pin. So we can attach this with our motors in different arrangements. I will show you the most common way to connect these switches with the motor. Here you can see, I have shorted these diagonally pins. One with this brown wire, another with this yellow wire. And the middle one goes to my motor. And you can power this switch from these extreme pins, either from this side or from this side. Let us see how it works. As you can see, when I press it upward, it moves in clockwise direction, and when I press it downwards, it moves in anti clockwise direction. This is how we can control the dynamics of our bot. We will be needing these wheels. You can go for any of these wheels. For this project, I will be using this wheel. Here you can see this, this screw. This screw is used to tighten the wheel with the motor shaft. Now we will see the connection of the motors. It is to be noted that the motors on the left hand side and the right hand side needs to be connected together. That is, this these two motors need to be connected together and that with the right hand side also. One thing is to be noted that the polarity of these motors need to be the same. Here you can see they are not moving in the same polarity. The first motor is going in an anti-clockwise direction whereas this motor is going in clockwise direction. So, we need to change this polarity. Now here you can see both are moving in the same polarity. Similarly, you will do, do the, the same thing with the right hand side. Now we will connect these two terminals with our DPDT switch. And it will go to the middle pins. Now here you can see that I have made these connections of the motors. These two wires goes to this motor and these two wires goes to this motor. And this wire goes to my switch box. Switch box is basically a box which holds the DPDT switches. Here you can see that this brown, this brown and black wire goes to the middle pins of this DPDT switch and this green and yellow wires goes to the middle pins of this DPDT switch. And for powering this, I have used these two wires, these two, the grey one and the white one and this goes to the adapter that is a 12 volt adapter. You can use a battery source but here I am using an adapter. If you see clearly, you can see that I have shorted this, this pin and this pin so that I can use a single connection for powering this. You can get this, get this schematics on my blog, so go and check out. Now we see the dynamics of this board. To take a right turn, these motors need to be, these two motors need to be in forward direction and these two motors need to be in backward direction. So it will make a turn in this direction. 
Similarly, for taking a turn in the left direction, these motors need to be in forward direction and these two motors need to be in backward direction. Let me show you. We will make a right turn. A left turn. Now, for moving this board forward, these four wheels need to be in the forward direction. And for moving this board in backward direction, these four wheels need to be in backward direction. Mm -hmm. 